initial thoughts on the squad this year? A lot of new faces on this team. Yeah, there is a lot of new guys, and, and uh, I, I think we had a, a fairly productive fall. And um, the good thing is we've had a couple weeks to kind of get our feet on the ground. The kids have been on campus for a couple weeks, so uh, I think they're ready. They're, they're ready for a change. You know, they're kind of tired of the uh, small group work that we've gone through the last couple weeks. So. Uh, they're ready to tackle on a full practice, and that's what we'll get going today. And, and the weather's been so good that we've been able to get a lot done outside uh, first semester. And again, I believe we'll probably have an opportunity to get outside as early as Sunday this weekend too, which is, you know, very very unusual. So hopefully that helps with all these new guys uh, getting acclimated to Division One baseball. Fifteen freshmen. Is this the youngest team that? You coach it all? Well, I remember when I was an assistant here, you know, we started four freshmen one year, and that, and that probably was the, the, the most freshmen we've ever played uh, at, at one time. So uh, this group will be similar to that group. I don't anticipate us starting four freshmen necessarily, but there'll be a couple guys out there uh, every game. And, and uh, uh, the good thing is we, we're, we're, pretty, we're pretty old on the mound, you know, so I, I believe that those pitchers who are returning will give us an opportunity for the new players to kind of get caught up a little bit in some of these early season games here in the middle of February. Back into the motion, even though you're indoors. Yeah, um, I think we're all just excited to get back in the swing of things and get back into a, a full practice with the full team. So it's good. Um, and obviously, we'd like to be outside on the field, but we understand a little bit of snow up here, so hopefully that clears off. We're just happy to be, you know, going at it and getting a good practice together. So. You know, we were all just kind of talking here in a huddle about the roster. A lot of new names, a lot of new faces on this. You know, what do you think the the earliest obstacle for this group is? You know, um, I think there's going to be a lot of obstacles for us in this, this season, um, just for any team. Um, and I think having guys become comfortable, you know, in the situation and getting reps, getting out there. Um, so I think that might be an obstacle early on. But you know, these these new guys. They get after it. They're hard workers. They're mature guys. So I'm really excited to see um, how they adapt to playing. And um, it's been a lot of fun to see them, you know, grow right now. It's going to be even more fun to see that in the season. No, is the getting back out, even if it's indoors? Uh, no doubt. And being inside kind of puts a damp on it. But everybody's excited to go. And what you guys call it a bit, we're going to go. We were kind of talking about the, the roster turnover. You guys have uh, it's like something like 15 new new faces to this team. How how do you guys go about you know handling some of that turnover early on? Uh, we got plenty of new kids, but we also have guys that are coming back with experience. I mean, their roles are a lot different this year, but you have three or four guys that got DH roles or got spot starts, like, gonna be able to play this year. So I mean, that brings experience to the team, and those freshmen have freshmen that will end up playing. A lot of them will end up playing. Uh, they have bought in, and, you know, they've, they've they sold out, and they've uh, decided they want to compete. And they, they, uh, put it out in line. Last year you split time kind of with Matt behind the plate. How have these gone? What, so, what, what steps do you have to take to kind of be the, the catcher that maybe not all 52 of them, but you know, at least 45 plus? Uh, you know, it's 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 good. This is my second year, so I'm pretty aware of the staff. And me and the pitching coach, uh, Eric Wertekamper, are pretty close. So I'm in there talking to him every day, getting ready for the same game plan. And, on the same page as all my staff. They throw plenty of bullpens, so I get the brunt of those too. So I see them about every other day. 